describe that performance? Yeah, it's scrappy, obviously, scrappy performance. We um, we knew that it was going to be a different type of game, and we we talked all week about trying to you know um, come back and, and be really tidy and just we can get our flow going and all. Um, and the Fijian boys played with a lot of intent, and, um, and we were just a little, little bit too a little disciplined to be able to get any sort of real momentum in the game, which was obviously frustrating. But we won, and we got five points, and that's um, that's what we wanted. Is there a little bit of a hangover from Brighton? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think there's, you know, we did make some changes, and there was a little, little bit of lack of continuity there. But um, the changes that we had to make, you know, to um, make sure that we we're, were looking after our, our all base, etc. So. Um, some guys come in and stepped up, and some guys um, looked a little bit rusty. I think. Well, did it feel a little scrappy out there as well? Did it feel like you couldn't quite get the game going in the way you wanted? Yes, it reminded me of uh, the international games against Fiji last year, and yeah, they are typically a tough side to play, Fiji inside, and uh, physical, and we expected that. Um, perhaps we underestimated how much they can probably fluster you because of the lack of momentum that. Uh, we got and um, weren't allowed to play our game at times, so that's where we probably saw the frustration showing and ill discipline and allowing them to get free rides. What about the team they don't have to throw the ball around all over the park, it seemed, and you guys have to do a lot of running out there. Yeah, we certainly expected that part of it, um, as well as those little freakish grubber kicks and behind the defensive line from loose forwards like. We just had to be on all the time, and at times they caught us out, but that's just how they play. And um, yeah, it was always going to be a test for us mentally and um, as a system defensively. So, Leon, just in terms of you know those week to week performances, so it, it's surely not unreasonable that you can't maintain that intensity every single week in a competition like this, and you've had two weeks in a row where it was full on. So how do you go about preparing for, for something like this, knowing that it, you, you can't just expect that every week? Yeah, look, I don't want to make excuses for the, 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 the inaccuracy, especially our discipline. It's something that we, um, we, we try and be, you know, take a pride in being really disciplined. And we gave away too many soft penalties. Um, and we talked all week around you know, what they want. They want to have um, penalties. They want to be able to free play. They, um, if we just fall asleep on defence, so, you know, penalties, they're going to take quick taps, etc. And we, we really wanted to deliver there. And I think by and large we did. I thought we created a lot of pressure on our defence and we looked good. But then we'd give a penalty away and they'd get to start again. So uh, that's probably the most frustrating thing. I think there was, um, you know, you, you, you sort of, the, the obvious aside, I think there's still enough there to be happy uh, with. I thought our, um, our, um, our intensity on defence, we got better as the game went on in terms of coming off the line. And, I thought we were a bit flat in the first half, but we got some good line speed and created some pressure there, and um, we were able to finish off some, some good tries. So it wasn't all doom and gloom for us, five points. Um, this competition is like gold, and, and um, we'll regroup again and hit the plane in Perth, and, and we've got another tough belly hit. Are you surprised where they sit on the ladder, or do you think that perhaps they suit your style of rugby maybe a little more than the Australians? Oh, no, not at all. You know, they only lost by a few points to the Reds. Um, you look at all their games, and um, They've been right in the middle of it um, all year, and I think um, you know we were um, we were expecting this sort of game. We, we didn't want to to um, it to get loose and scrappy like it did, um, but um, yeah, we we um, we expected it, and they're going to cause a few of the New Zealand teams some headaches. Friday, you seem to have a lot of traffic coming through your channel all night. As expected, yeah, no, it's all good. It's good to be back in there. I was going to say, burden for yourself, building that combination with two of us at Shack at 12. Have, have you seen how he's kind of coming in and fitting into this blue side as he starts getting further minutes and sort of reacclimatising back to rugby union? Oh, it's great. Um, I enjoy playing with all my teammates and uh, to have a superstar like him outside me tonight, it's, um, yeah, it's special. Uh, with that too, it's going to take time to build um, combinations and things like that, um, whoever it is. So. I think he's only going to get better um, as he understands uh, defences and footy in general um, because he does have so much fire power, it's just how we unleash it. Leon does the top of the table, obviously. You think it's like week two or over Australia is coming a good time for you, a good period to 
three growth kit guys together and, and you know, rip into these Australian matches? Yeah, look, we did we did a bit of a reset at the end of the Crusaders game, and um, because our, we don't have a buy this year, we knew that we just needed to take a couple of deep breaths and mentally and physically take a bit of a break. So we had a few days off and um, and, and, and ready to go again. And I think just getting on the road, we can get a little bit more work in. Um, we we had a few lighter weeks leading to the Chiefs Crusaders week, and now we can get on the road and get some good training into us again, and that's that's going to help us for this next part because you know um, we've got some big games ahead, big tough games ahead. And you got some guys to be back soon? Yeah, Kate will be back um, next week. Akira's, um, if he continues um, without any hiccups, he, he's um, hopeful for next week as well. So, um, yeah, looking forward to um, seeing him hopefully play again. And obviously, um, we've got a couple of our uh, Dalton and, and um, Alex Hodgman joining us in Perth as well. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Tom got a knock tonight? Yeah, yeah, he's got a knock, so we just need, just need to check on him. Having had a chance to have a look there, and um, he looked okay in the first lot, but yeah. Oh, look, it's a, it's an honour and privilege to um, get the opportunity, and it's different. Um, it comes with more off-field responsibility. Um, I'll be quite pleased to hand that back to Dulles next week. Um, but like I said, it's a privilege and uh, to get the opportunity, it's, it's awesome. I've got great leaders around me too, like Reeks. Um, he's really come on and has impressed me. Um, guys like Tom Rollo and, and so on. So, um, yeah, it was just good to get the win tonight and five points and take a move on. Everyone in happy? Is there anything for the guys uh, on Zoom? Um, I thought uh, Tolfa has, he's, he's got a lot of potential and he's a he's such a young kid, um, he's going to be a, a star for sure, um, but in a position like that, halfbacks thrive on good ball and tonight was a scrappy game so he probably didn't get too many opportunities to show what he can do, um, and the same with the Masati, Neville Harris, um, again a lot, of, a lot of talent there, so um, yeah whoever it is, we. We prepare well, um, have a lot of little meetings and make sure that we're on the same page and um, yeah, we make sure we leave no stone unturned in that domain. Austin, just one last one from me. Um, did you notice, going on, looking at the outside, it seems to be a little bit of a um, level off the ball, particularly from the Fijian fellas. Is there something you guys talked about and um, lead up to the game at all, or, or did you notice it on the field? Have you just talked about how to respond to that? Yeah, look, those can be tactics to get under, you know, our skin. Um, ultimately, we have to leave it to the officials to deal with that kind of behaviour um, and not let it frustrate us or, or niggle us because, yeah, it may have shown in our Ill, Ill discipline as that was frustrating us perhaps, but um, it's a physical game. There is always going to be a little bit of that off the board. Hi, Leon, just two quick ones from me, Mark here. Um, it's the, it was the first chance you've had this season to start your, uh, I guess, your backline axis trio of Bowden, Roger and Rico. How did you think they went together as a, kind of as a unit, you know, to run the backline? Yeah, look, it was, um, it was good for, for Roger to get some time. I think he's feeling the uh, physicality of the midfield. Um, he's definitely looking a bit sore today. So that's good. He needed some good minutes under his belt. And, um, you know, every game for him is gold and he just learns um, he's learning so quickly and, um, you know, look, the, the break's been a decent one for him, so for him to strap up and, and get a good 65 minutes, we'll do him good for next week. Cool, and um, you, you spoke, you know, pretty glowingly about the contribution of Moana Pacifica on the back of your two games against them. After 80 minutes against the draw, what would you say about what they bring to this competition with their presence and, and style? Yeah, they've been fun to prepare against because they're so different to every other team. They're not, um, they're not um, like any other team. They're very really unique, and I think that's what called us out. Their style is different, and um, the way that they attack the game is is refreshing. And and um, you know, we'll sit here frustrated because we were unable to play the game we wanted to do because they didn't allow us. Um, 
But um, you know, they're fantastic athletes, um, some real firepower in terms of the, you know their ability to create something out of nothing. And and I thought their their scrum, which has been under the pump a little bit this season, really held held strong. And, and they showed a lot of fire, you know, fire with the um, the mall, which has been a little bit under the pump this year. So they're getting better in the in the core parts of the game, which is going to make them even more dangerous. Thank you. Good.